Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss one of the, I mean, one of the most important topic in ethical hacking that is Metasploit. So Metasploit is actually a pen testing platform that is used to find, exploit, and validate vulnerabilities. The vulnerabilities are basically the weaknesses, and those weaknesses can be uh, a flaw in a program that flaw can be in a protocol that flaw can be in in the infrastructure the configurations so weakness can be anywhere anywhere and the metasploit is a framework complete framework which is uh, used to find exploit and validate vulnerabilities so platform means this is not a single tool but there is a collection of tools there is a group of tools which is being used for finding and exploiting vulnerabilities and this is really powerful tool that we can use this metasploit throughout the life cycle of pen testing phases so in one of our videos we have discussed that, that there are certain phases of pen testing so those phases are pre-engagement information gathering threat modeling vulnerability analysis exploitation post exploitation and reporting so now metasploit can be used in, in almost all these phases so now you can imagine the importance of Metasploit. And one side note that Metasploit is now owned by security company Rapid7. And its first release was in 2003. It's a website for Metasploit. And you can see here uh, that Metasploit is available as open source. And this is also available as a commercial version so that is the commercial support available in metasploit pro and uh, this is further information about metasploit and if you want then we can download it for windows as well but we have this already installed in kali linux machine so uh, we will be using kali linux today in our demonstration but you can see if you just click on this website get started and then these are some downloads and installation information is there and then if you want to learn something then this is also learning uh, i mean links are there so you can explore it this uh, metasploit.com and now i'll just uh, show you this in the in the kali linux machine now to show you the use of metasploit i have this kali linux machine and then also have a metasploitable tool and in one of our videos we have actually created these two virtual machines in virtual box so if you are interested then you can see that video as well to establish this lab which we will be using now so kali linux and metasploit metasploitable two machines are ready but i have this vmware i'm using this vmware you can also use this virtual box as well so let's say this Kali Linux machine and uh, now in Kali Linux machine Metasploit is already there and now to launch this Metasploit we have two options first is just we can go here in the application and then we have the exploitation tools and then you can see we have this Metasploit uh, framework right and we also have another method which is command line And now you can see we have this terminal window and before starting Metasploit, I will update the database. So I'll initialize the database with a command that is service post GraySQL and start. So service post POS post GraySQL and start. And press enter so it will actually update the database and this will also run our metasploit faster it is going to update the database from the initialize the database so this is done and once we are done with that we just have to start metasploit and the command is msf c o n s o l e msf console so this will actually launch metasploit in our Kali Linux machine. Press enter and now this will take some time and this Metasploit framework will be ready in our Kali Linux machine. It may take some time but it will be initialized and then we can see all the things there. Okay, so this is ready. And you can see here in Metasploit, when we launch it, it is showing us this uh, version information. 
and this is showing something that 2205 exploits are there these these many auxiliaries are there so we will be discussing all of them these are actually uh, the modules so we interact with Metasploit using these modules and these many modules and these different kinds of modules are available in, in Metasploit. Well, let's say this is, uh, we can see this uh, Metasploit framework 6 is ready for us to work with this. And this here, you see, this is a banner. An interesting feature is that there are many banners there. If we just uh, use banner command, you can see these different, uh, I mean, uh, illustrations there, banner. And this will keep changing like see so this is the banner and uh, yes this this was this fun part but now we are going to discuss the modules so modules are something by which we will be interacting with the metasploit framework and what are modules so module is simply a piece of software that metasploit framework uses to perform tasks such as exploiting or scanning a target so modules are basically piece of softwares and we have these modules available in this our metasploit framework and now to see it or better to better understand it let's look at the file system of metasploit and for that we can go so for example i can just launch a, a, a new terminal here let's see do i have another terminal yes i have this terminal and in this terminal if we go to uh, uh, folder that is user and in user we have share and within share we have this meta exploit framework meta exploit framework and if we press enter uh, you can see we have here we are in this folder so now sorry in this directory we have we have all the modules maybe if we click or, or sorry if we just I uh, use ls command we will see the uh, we will see the framework, Metasploitable framework. Now in this directory, we can see all the file systems of Metasploit framework. And you can see here we have some, 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 I mean, files or directory which are in green in color and some of them are blue in color. So green ones means they are executive, executable and the blue ones are the folders. And as I mentioned before that this will, these are the modules by which we will be interacting with this Metasploit. So let's see what, a, what we have in this folder. So for that, I'm going to use the CD modules and then we are in the modules folder and let's see in module folders what type of, uh, what modules we have. So if I use just LS, I don't know whether you can see or not. Maybe I, if I first clear the screen, so that you can see at the top yes so at the top we are you can see the modules folder and within module folders well let's see what we have so i'm using just ls command to list all these uh, things which we have in the modules so you can see we have these different modules auxiliary encoder evasion exploit knobs payloads and post so these are the modules by which we will be interacting with the metasploit so now out of those all modules let's first discuss the exploits because this is fun part because exploit module is used to take advantage of the vulnerability for example there is some vulnerability in this system and if you want to exploit it if you want to take advantage of this exploit uh, of that vulnerability then we will be using these exploit modules which are there in the metasploit framework and they can do this by installing a payload here and that payload card can be a reverse shell or that can be a metaprater shell, for instance. And after this, the second, like we are interested in, that is payload. And payload actually are the codes to perform a specific task, like transfer of files, a reverse shell, adding a new users in the victim systems. And this is only possible once we have, I mean, this happens only after successful exploitation of the payload and the exploitation it means this is used with in mostly this is used in combination with this exploit module and exploit module is used to get the access to the system and then once we have got the access of the system what action we want to perform that action will be actually done by this payload 
And now for understanding, I want to show you, I mean, for understanding the difference between payload and exploit. So this is a typical example of satellite. You see here, this is a website. I'll put the link in the description. You can see the satellites are launched with the help of rockets. And when the rocket reaches near the surface of the earth, where we want to launch the satellite, you can see the job of rocket is just to carry the satellites to its uh, it to its target so once it it reaches its target it's going to launch it so this is you can say that this is a payload and this rocket itself is actually an, is an exploit after exploit and payload modules we also have auxiliary module and this module is there to provide us uh, the features of port scanning fuzzing sniffing web crawling our web server misconfigurations so uh, the major difference is that like in meta exploit, sorry, in exploit, actually most of the exploit uses payload, but auxiliary most, mostly they do not use payloads. And we also have encoder module. So encoder module is used to obfuscate the antivirus IDS or firewall. For example, here we want to scan it or maybe we want to exploit this system, which is there. So there may be IPS or IPS, that is intrusion prevention system or IDS intrusion detection system or firewall can be in between the hacker or the pen tester and the victim or the target. So to, to obfuscate that, we can use these encoder modules. And then we have evasion modules. These are the modules uh, which, uh, which are also going to help us create a payload that can evade antivirus software on the target system. So you can see in the systems here and the target system, we can have some antivirus softwares and it, antivirus software actually can, uh, can, can detect this, for example, and this may block it. So now if we want to avoid them, then we have these modules. Those are known as evasion modules. And then we also have NOPS. So NOPS is for no operation and they are used to ensure successful execution uh, to exploit the code. So they are explicitly, actually they are used to slide the program execution to the next memory address to reach the desired plus in memory addresses. And the last module is post module. And these are the modules which are used mostly uh, during post exploitations. Once we are done with the exploitation and with these modules, we can gather more information uh, on the target or we can gain further access of the target systems.